What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode, mm-hmm, we got our first Pokemon. You know, the ones that you guys voted for. Uh, we got to meet two new best friends here in Unova. Had a huge battle right here, look at that, look at my room, holy crud. And then I revealed to you guys a surprise, and that is that from here on out, Nintendo DS games will be Livecom, because, yes, and again... I'm going to say this over and over within the next few episodes. Please excuse somewhat of the lagginess of the songs and everything like that. Yes, it, it comes with the whole thing right here. I'm sorry, but this is the best I can do. And we're going to get live con, so that's the best uh, best part about this. Now, before we move on, if you guys haven't noticed, on the picture on my avatar, my avatar guy, you know, my self-made uh, Pokemon trainer, I want to give a huge shout out to this individual right here because he helped me a lot. Now, a few weeks ago, before I almost finished my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, I requested for help. And that was if there was somebody out there that can help uh, make a personalized Pokemon trainer of me. Uh, because uh, the one that I have, yeah, I kind of swiped it off the internet, and put a beard on him, and then there you go. And then I got, well, not caught, but somebody said that it kind of looks like somebody uh, from YouTube. And I kind of wanted to avoid a conflict here and there. And, uh, yeah, it took me quite a while to actually find the person. And then I went on to Instagram. And, uh, well, I want to give this person a huge shout-out. Put his links down below right there. That way, you know, he can help many of you guys out who are aspiring Pokemon tubers, PokeTubers, and all that stuff. So, huge shout-out goes out to an artist astray. That's right. The name is right there. The link is down there. Uh, homeboy right here made this from scratch. He is a talented artist. If you guys go on his IG and all that stuff, you'll see that he's also made, uh, well, some pretty awesome Pokemon himself. Regional Pokemon and all that crud. And, uh, you know, personalized Pokemon trainers. And, uh, you know, I'm I, again, I'm very, very fortunate to have found a person like this. And uh, I just want to say an Estrella, or, uh, in a, or an artist Estrella. Yes, that's your name. My bad, guys. And, uh... Yeah, you have earned my business, and I will continue going to you um, for the awesome work that you made right here. So thank you very much. I'm going to continue uh, you know, shouting you out right here for the excellent work that you made for me. You don't know how much you've helped me, especially right here since I want to you know, make my YouTube just a little bit better and get to those 10K subscribers and all that stuff. So again, guys, an artist astray, if you guys are looking for your personalized uh, Pokemon trainer, Pokemon and all that stuff, Go to him on uh, Instagram. I'll be putting all his links on onto uh, the bottom screen right here, just so you can find him on whatever so social media site you you can find. So, anywho, let's go and continue our adventure right here. Now, I did re-record. This is a re-recording of episode two because, of course, my dumbass forgot to put uh, record the uh, the surroundings and all that stuff, and I didn't do it. I just did a whole episode. So, yeah. I'm going to try and remember what I said, how I did it, and all that stuff. So here it is, guys. Sharon's like, I'm sorry about the trouble. Uh, uh, wow. I'm sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Hmm. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries. I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be going on your way to Professor Juniper? And everybody's like, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, please excuse us. Come on, let's go to uh, thank Professor Juniper. And Draven is like, I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. And uh, Bianca's like, oh, wait, I got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. All righty. And uh, yeah, they're leaving. I'm going to get in trouble right now for having that Pokemon battle. Oh, uh, crud. Mama's mad. Oh, uh, crud. My, my, Draven. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries all down from here. Hmm. That sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Wait, you used to be a Pokemon trainer, Mom? Wait, is there, is there something you need to tell me? Wait a minute, where's Dad? Seriously? Hmm. Oh, okay. I know. After a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. So there it is, guys. She trains. She actually heals up our Pokemon. She's like, your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your Cross Trans Receiver. The hell? Oh, it's that watch thing. And why, why is it Cross Trans Receiver instead of X Transceiver? I don't get it. Comment down below, guys. And, uh, well, let's see. You are going to thank the professor, too? Right? Mm-hmm. Better get on your way, honey. Okay, so let's just sneak out before she starts harping on this about the, the room, you know. This was in real life. My mama would have whooped me. And look at that. Bianca's on her way, and P-Dubs are just flapping. There we go. It's not even a flap. I can't even do sound effects. 
Okay, so let's go straight to the professor's lab right here, and Sharon's waiting for us, and he's gonna be like, I'm sorry, but could you go get Bianca's, uh, to Bianca's house? I bet she's spacing out again, like she usually does. She's totally flighty. Man, you are a dick, man. Lay off my girl, okay? Lay off my girl. Or else you're gonna catch these hands, homeboy. You're gonna be catching all of these hands. Alrighty, so let's go straight to Bianca's house right here and see what she has to say or what's going to be going on right now. And, uh, wow, once we enter, there's going to be a little bit of a conflict. Yeah. Her daddy's like, no, no, a thousand times no. But, I'm, I'm a good trainer who got, who got a Pokemon and everything. I can totally go on an adventure. And then, you know, without, yeah. <laughs> she just like, you know, just leaves and she's like, oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Oh, damn. Something's going on right here. Okay, um... I could talk to this guy right here, but if you guys... Uh, for those who know me in real life... Yeah, I stay out of people's business. I'm just gonna walk out. Eventually, we're gonna find out what's going on right here. So, let's go straight to the professor's lab. And like I said... Oh, well, like it says on the bottom screen, guys. This is the instructional part of Pokemon Black. I get it. I know. If you guys want to skip this episode, go feel free. You know, there's episode three right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Okay, let's go meet the professor. All right, we're going to meet the pre professor, the professor right here. So here we are in the Pokemon lab, and Professor Juniper is like, Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Professor Juniper. We know your name. Damn, what the hell, man? Cherry, come on. Let the professor speak, a-hole. Come, come, Sharon. This is no time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how creatures, uh, the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Hmm, she's looking down at us. That's right, she's looking at this stud muffin right here. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why... Hmm... It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Well, hell yes. Okay, so... You guys already know, I recorded the first few episodes once. I already got the nicknames and all that stuff. And I'm doing it again because of the quality and all that stuff. Just to make it better for you guys. Now, uh... Since Oshawa will be evolving into a water-type Pokemon called Samurott... You know, kind of like a samurai and all that stuff. It kind of reminded me of a uh, cool anime that I loved growing up. And uh, for those who don't know, I, I will leave the link down there just so you can find it, watch it in its entirety and all that stuff. Because it's a pretty cool anime, okay? Uh, if For those who don't know, Ronin Warriors. Yes, that is a very cool anime that I grew up watching. There, It's kind of like, a, let's just say, Power Rangers uh, in anime, but in samurai form. There are five samurais, Ryu, Rowan, Kento, Sage, and Sai. Uh, each one of them have armor, elemental armors, uh, with different powers and all that stuff too, and they're fighting up against, uh, Talpa, the evil overlord and all the stuff, and he has his three other dark samurais and stuff. Of course, my favorite character in the whole series is Anubis. That's right, Quake with Fear, motherfuckers. That's right. Love him. He's an anti-hero and all that stuff, too. He eventually becomes the sixth, you know, Power Ranger, Ronin Warriors, and all that stuff. Now, each one of these uh, Ronin Warriors has a ele uh, an element to him. You got Ryu of the Wildfire, uh, Rowan of the Strata, uh, Kento of Hard Rock, Sage of the Halo, and Sai of the Torrent. And... We're going to be naming this Pokemon right here, Oshawa. We're going to be naming him after one of these Ronin Warriors. Obviously, we're going to be naming him after the guy that uses the water element. So, we're going to be naming him Psy of the Torrent. Well, not Psy of the Torrent, because it has Torrent. We're just going to be naming him Psy. That's right. Psy. Okay, and it does have Torrent as its a, uh, as its effect. So, that's uh, the, the irony. It just hits me right there. So, there it is, guys. It's like, uh, I see. Are you going to nickname him Psy? Yes, ma'am. Sai, it's a great name. That's such a great name. As for why I gave you all Pokemon, it's for the Pokedex, right? God damn it, Charon. And Bianca's like, P Pokedex? I'm astonished. Nice work, Charon. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. Yes, Charon, you asshole. The, Pokemon, uh, the Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. 
So I want you to uh, I want you three to visit many places, meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Draven, Charon, Bianca. You'll go on an adventure too to complete a Pokedex. Well, why will won't you? Of course. It's been, you know, my life for the last three for the last twenty years, probably. I don't even know. I just look like a kid right here. Bianca's like, okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Sharon's like, thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I wished. Professor Juniper's like, all of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. And there it is, guys. Generation 5's Pokedex right there. Look at that. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Okay, we're going to be going to Route 1 right here, guys. And Bianca's like, since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while complete uh, while we complete the Pokédex. Alright, okay, so we're going to be going straight to Route 1 for more instruction, guys. We're going to be learning how to capture Pokémon, and before we get out there, Bianca's like, Hey, Draven, wait up! Oh, damn! Everybody's bumping into me. Oh, there you are, and... What did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex. I can't believe it! Well, actually, I can. I already knew what she was going to ask. Alrighty, Mama, you're very astute right there. That's why I brought you three uh, town maps. Take them with you. There it is. Town maps and all that stuff in all its glory. We're going to be using them from time to time if we don't know where we're at. More than half the time and all that stuff, too. And uh, here she is giving everybody. Here you go, Charon. Charon's like, I'll take good care of it. And Bianca. And one for you too, Bianca. Oh, and she's happy. Thank you so much! As for you, uh, as for your room, Draven, or what's left of it, oh, crap. Here we go. Mama's gonna embarrass us in front of uh, my friends right here. No need to, no need for you, or, or no need for any of you to worry. I'll take good care of it, tidying it up and all that stuff. See? Greatest mom ever. Greatest. And in real life, my mom, she is the greatest ever. So, mom, if you're listening or watching this, yes. You're the badass mom. Eh, okay, Dragon? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Ah, Pokemon. They are so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They are really something. With Pokemon like that on your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region. And become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. Alrighty. Mama is very optimistic about us and all that stuff. If I use the town map, I'll always know where I'm at. And that's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? That prof The professor's waiting. Okay. Well, let's go, let's go! Draven, hurry! Come on! Okay! Oh, wow, she's like on sugar or something like that. That's right, okay. Alright, so we're going to be going to Route 1 to get taught how to taught... How, how to, yeah, well, to be taught how to capture Pokemon and all that stuff. And we already know how to do that. Draven, it's this way! Bianca. So Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Draven. Let's all take our first step to Route 1 together. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. One, two, I've already stepped on it. Three. There it is, guys. Route 1. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? Yes, sir. It is. Come on, Professor's waiting. Okay, so there is the lovely Professor. She's going to be asking us... A few things, and then she's like, "Professor Juniper, I'm sorry we kept you waiting." Now that's er now that er now that everyone is here, I'll explain. The Pokédex pages op update automatically whenever you meet a Pokémon. Moreover, it's set so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokémon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokémon. So here she is trying to capture a Pokémon, and first Pokémon you'll always meet is Padrat right here. Yeah, the normal type equivalent of uh, Radita and all that crud. And uh, here she comes out with her favorite Pokemon, Minchino, and all that crud. Now, I'm asking a question right here, guys. Uh, comment down below if you if you guys can answer this. Now, do we ever get to battle a Professor Juniper? I want to know. Because she has a Pokemon, so does the other Pokemon trainers, or the other uh, Pokemon professors. I would figure that if you battled po Professor Oak as the quote-unquote final boss... You probably battled Professor Juniper too. I don't know. Comment down below. Tell me your theories. Tell me what you guys are thinking. And then there she is throwing a Pokeball. Of course, she has like 30 Pokeballs and all that crud. Look at that. Oh, yes. Trying to capture another Pokemon right there. And there you go. 
Here she is, capturing a fat rat. That is cool. That is awesome. That is great. That is gravy sauce right there. And, uh, well, after capturing a Pokemon, she's going to be telling us, Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce a Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that will have all their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up, the best uh, in the best way, I will get. I have a gift for you: some Pokeballs. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves five Pokeballs, as always. And uh, let's see. Pokeballs are used to ca for catching Pokemon for carrying uh, the Pokemon you want to catch. I'm going on ahead, and I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. So we're gonna be going into the next town right here. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at the tall grass. I'm heading to Accumula Town too. And Bianca's like, I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. And then afterwards, she gets a crazy idea. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Ch Draven, Charon. I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting for uh, waiting too. Would you just listen for a sec? Seriously. Thinking she's like, you know, you know dumbass or something. I don't even know. Why don't we? Uh, well, why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner! Huh, actually that sounds interesting. It will fill up Pokedex's, uh, or Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it'll be, or it will please the Professor too. Okay, okay then. Until we reach the Acc Accumula Town, take care of the healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Tepic will do the best for sure. Okay. Um, okay, so for me, I've already defeated these two guys. I really don't want to capture any Pokemon, but we're probably going to have to at some point right here. Look, we're getting attacked right now. wonder what Pokemon we're going to catch, or whatever. So there's a wild Lillipup. Uh, not going to capture this Pokemon in particular, because, uh, yeah, I got a little plan for you. And you have to be a male for that sort. And, uh, let's, let's go for a Pat Rat. Now, let's see, let's read up onto this sign right here. It says, Trainer Tips! Make an effort to talk to all people you meet during your journey. Chances are they'll have something useful to tell you. Okay, so uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Let's see. Wild Pokemon are hiding in the tall grass. What does that mean for you? It means when you want to battle or capture wild Pokemon, you should walk into tall grass. Okay, all right. Now, person of, uh, of interest right here is this person right here. Talk to her. She's like, is your Pokemon's HP all right? When your Pokemon's HP decreases while you're in a road, it can be very difficult. So I'll give you this. Put this in your medicine bag. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves a potion, which is always good. Always, always good. When your Pokemon's HP decreases, they no longer have the energy to fight. So don't push your Pokemon too hard and let them rest often. Okay. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, well, we, we do have the opportunity to capture a Pokemon. I'm gonna try and capture a Pat Rat if we get encounter one. And then uh, just show it to the to our rival's friends right here because uh, I might as well because I'm a very competitive person right here too. So there you are, Patrat. Okay. All right, Patrat. You looking like a uh, like an evil raccoon right here? I'm gonna attack you with a tackle attack right here. Look at that tackle attack. Nearly takes him out right there. So I would have figured that the next tackle attack will make him faint. So we're gonna throw a pokeball at you. Here we go. Five Pokeballs in its entirety. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the ball. Yes, sir. Throwing out the peace sign right there. Yes, sir. E Bob. Alrighty. And, uh, well, here is our very first Pokemon that we captured. Patrat, the Scout Pokemon. Normal type Pokemon here. Using food is stored in its uh, cheek pouches. They can keep a watch for days. They use their tails to communicate with others. Look at that. It's a very interesting Pokemon. No, I will not be using them on my team. I'm just like, you know, being competitive, all that stuff. So let's give it a nickname since uh, it kind of reminds me of something. I bequeath you the name Bandit. It can make a very good HM slave, just like Rattata and, uh, and Bidoof and all that stuff, guys. So uh, this, this is one cool Pokemon, too. Won't be the last that we will be meeting of it. So, let's go straight ahead, and uh, right when we meet Bianca, she's going to be like, How about it, Draven? Do you want to compare which one of us uh, has the most Pokemon with them? Yes, I do. Alright, what do you got to say? Seems the number of Pokemon Draven has is... Two! We all have the same number, then. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. Hmm, I'm off to accumulate a town. The Professor is waiting. 
And then next thing you know, we get ourselves a cross train receiver. It's ringing and all that crud. And it's Professor Juniper. And she's like, hello, how is everything doing? Uh, you and your Pokemon uh, are getting uh, along great now, right? Oh, Professor. Right now, I'm in front of Accumulant Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like you to, or I'd like to show you around. So hurry over, everyone. Let's go. Okay, Professor uh, Pokemon uh, Pokemon Center. Right. Okay. See you. Okay. So we're going to the Pokemon Center. Sharon's like, well, I'm going on ahead, and we got to move on forward as well. So let's go straight to the Pokemon Center. As you can see, here it is, the first city we're visiting, Accumula Town, and the professor's waiting for us right there in front of the, uh, the Pokemon Center. And here she is. Ah, Draven, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. i like to show you around the most important place for a trainer to know. Okay, let's do this. Let's find that place, and here it is, the Pokemon Center. This is the Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you want, uh, you you step through that door? Yes. Okay, let's start our tour. And as you can see, Bianca is waiting for us right there, and she's like, oh, wait for me. Okay, Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And uh, what's more, and what's more, it's absolutely free. A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Here, Draven, give it a try. All right, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Now, one thing that's pretty awesome about this is in Generation 5, they included the Pokemon inside the Pokemon Center, so that actually saves us enough time to actually, like, you know, from going from place to place. It's all in here. And, uh, well, we've, uh, we've already healed up our Pokemon, that's pretty awesome, and here it is. Okay, now that your Pokemon have been rested, I'll show you how to use a PCA poke uh, at a Pokemon Center. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, this is the PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes, or select Pokemon you stored in your PC boxes to take along with you. In addition, if you caught or if you catch a new Pokemon while you have six Pokemon traveling with you, you or the Pokemon you just got is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprisingly, isn't it? Or surprising, isn't it? Amazing. Even here's something or amazing. Even amazing. Even wow, I can't even say this right. Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you've made in your Pokedex. And Bianca's like, Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Oh, yeah, very good, Bianca. That's a very good observation. Great question. And I'd like to say more, but for right now, just ignore that uh, Just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the uh, Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. All right, we're moving on right here. Look at that. We're moving on. What's up? Okay, so now this is the Pokemon. This is a place where you can buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. The gentleman over here, there will always help you with a big smile. So, let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. I'm going uh, I'm going to head back to Novemba Town. One more thing. When you get to say, uh, Striaton City and go and meet or well, when you get to Striaton City, go and meet the inventor named Fennel. She is a friend of mine from long ago and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck, I hope that your journeys prove to be an adventure of a lifetime. Okay, alrighty. It's pretty awesome right there. She's an awesome character. Oh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokemon are definitely important. Hmm, thinking. Okay, alrighty. Anywho guys, this is this concludes our episode right here. Episode 2. Like I said, down below. This is an instructional video. So, stay tuned for the next episode. Yes, we will be... Uh, battling trainers and all that stuff i get it coming outside of the pokemon center we're gonna be battling another trainer in particular and all that crud but we're gonna save that for episode three and on because yes we're finally doing live call and we could do that guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time